This is about a 7 years old HP ProBook laptop with IMD CPU and low performance. But except low performance, this laptop has a several issues. Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we're gonna back in function this HP ProBook laptop but also we're gonna make a few upgrades and boost the performance. Ok, let's start and first let's take a look from where I began. Well, this is an HP ProBook 6475B and these models are released in 2012. Basically I got this laptop in a good cosmetic condition but with a several issues and low specs. The most noticeable damage is the display. The display is broken and needs to be replaced. And the other things are. I got this laptop without the battery and without the charger. The specs of this laptop are pretty low. This model has IMD A6 4400M CPU with IMD Radeon 7520G graphics. This CPU has 2 cores but no threads and it's running at 2.7 GHz. The RAM is 2 GB DDR3 and the hard disk is 320 GB but still functional. Now let's start and back this laptop in function again. First I will start with a display. Because I don't want to spend a lot on this laptop, I got a used display instead of new. The display that I got has a made surface and basically is in a good condition. I mean without some visible scratches or any other visible damage. Now before I start with replacing, first I will clean the display that I got. To clean the display I will use a few very soft cleaning cloths, 96% alcohol, an air sticks and two brushes. One is soft makeup brush and the other is painting brush. If you're going to clean some display then you need to be a very careful. Especially pay attention at the edges of the display and on the electronics from the back side. These two places on the display are very sensitive. The electronics are easy to damage and never put any kind of liquid on the edges of the display. If the liquid goes there, I mean over the edges, then you may damage the entire display. Well, the display is looking better now and now let's replace the broken display.
Well, this is it. Now let's turn on this laptop and check the display. The display is working fine and all is good, but it seems that the laptop has some issue with the BIOS. But however, for now, all is working well. Now, before I fix this issue, let's do some upgrades. First, I will upgrade the CPU. From IMD A6-4400M, I will upgrade to IMD A10-4600M. This CPU actually take out from a dead HP Envy motherboard. But before I replace the CPU, first I will clean it from an old and dry thermal paste. Also, while cleaning, I will leave the CPU in an old motherboard, because it's safer. I mean, with this I will protect the CPU pins. The IMD A10-4600M is a quad-core CPU. Four cores, four threads. The CPU base clock is 2.3 GHz and the turbo clock is 3.2 GHz. Also, the CPU has IMD Radeon 7660G graphics. Compared to the IMD A6-4400M, the IMD A10-4600M is more than twice better. Now, let's move on the HP ProBook and remove the cooling fan and the heat sink. Upgrading the CPU on some of these models is pretty simple and this process doesn't request disassembling the entire laptop. However, I've checked the laptop from the inside also. I want to be sure that all is ok and all is good. There's no some damage or something and this laptop is very clean. I can say the cleanest laptop that I ever got. Most of the laptops that I got are full with dust, but this is not the case with a this one. Now, before I upgrade the CPU, First, I will clean the cooling fan and the heat sink. Well, this is it about the CPU. Now let's upgrade the RAM. From 2 gigs, I will upgrade to 8 gigs. 8 gigs actually is good enough for this model. Now let's upgrade the disk. The hard disk is good. But this laptop will work much better and faster with SSD. And on this laptop I used a 240 gigs Kingston SSD. 240 gigs is not a lot, 
but is good and out for Windows and a few games. Well, this is it, but there is a one more optional upgrade. The 320 gigs disk is still good, so using a disk caddy, I can mount it instead of CD-ROM, and with this, I will have a two disks in one laptop. Or I can put this hard disk in a hard disk enclosure case, and I can use it as an external hard disk. And as the final thing, I will clean the laptop case. So basically, this laptop will shine again like a new. Well, this is all about the upgrades, now let's move on installing the Windows. This laptop already has connected Windows 8 Pro license, and in this case I can use the same license to install and activate the Windows 10 Pro. With this I will save some money from buying another Windows license. But there is another problem, this laptop has an issue with the BIOS. Actually, the BIOS is good and accessible, but the issue is with DMI. This is when the laptop doesn't read the serial number and all other informations from the motherboard. In this case, the hardware is fully functional and all is working good except anything other that is connected with the laptop's serial number. In this case, like the Windows license. So to fix this issue, first I contact the support and from there they give me an instructions how to reprogram the DMI. Basically, this is not hard at all. I create a boot USB with MS-DOS and few other tools and after using this USB I got access to the motherboard's system files. And there I enter the serial number and all other informations manually. After this, the message that appears before the boot is gone and the laptop is booting strike to the Windows. After in Windows, I make only activation and the Windows was successfully activated. Well, now let's move on the performance. Basically this laptop is good and out for all basic daily tasks like any other new laptop. The Windows and the Windows applications are loading fast without any issue or locks. The web browsing is going great and it's pretty fast. Watching some videos online is going great also, without some long loading. The high resolution videos like 2K and 4K are also playable, without lags and or anything else. The gaming performance are not very high, but expected on this hardware. Now I will show a few games that I test on this laptop. The first game on the list is Fortnite. The Fortnite is a newer game and this game has a little bit higher requirements. On this laptop I used a low graphics and low resolution. And the Fortnite is running with about a 25 FPS but sometimes the frame rate is dropping to about a 15 and sometimes even go over 30. But generally the game is still playable.
is not the best, but is expected on this hardware. The second game that I play is Dead Island. This is an older game, but with good graphics. This game is running with mostly about a 35 to 40 FPS, using a medium to high settings and maximum display resolution. In this game, the lowest frame rate is about a 25 or 26, and the maximum is over 50. That island on this laptop generally is working pretty good and very smooth. The next game on the list is Battlefield 3. In this game, I play multiplayer and I used low settings. This is an older game, but this game has a pretty high system requirements. In this game, I got about 15 to 35 FPS, but mostly the frame rate is about 25 in multiplayer. In single player, the frame rate is a little bit higher, it's about 5 to 10 FPS higher than the multiplayer. And the last game on the list is the GTA 5. In the GTA 5 I used medium to low settings and DirectX 11. The GTA 5 is running with about a 20 to 25 FPS, but when I use the DirectX 11, sometimes I have a small glitches, but using DirectX 10, the graphics are with fewer details, but the game is running better and faster, and the GTA 5 is fully playable. And one more thing, probably you will ask, what's about eGPU? I tried to use AMD Radeon and Nvidia graphics, using Express card and mini PCI Express connections. I've tried a lot of different combination to make the eGPU working, but nothing works with this model. So this laptop is not supporting eGPU. Well, this is all about this laptop. Generally, this laptop is good enough for all basic daily tasks, like watching movies, web browsing, working with some documents, listening to music, using social media, and playing some older and mid-range games. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will give some ideas and inspiration to back some old tech in function again. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.